So this is the moment we all have been waiting for. It's about time they reach their goal and they... Hey guys, welcome to my first video on machine learning or AI or whatever you want to call it. In this video, I made an AI which plays a game. Sounds pretty cool, right? Not so cool when making it though. But if the result is good, then who cares? So, have you guys heard about neural networks? If you know that, then it's awesome. But we are not using that. I rather use a simpler approach, which is to use genetic algorithms. So, what exactly are genetic algorithms? Basically, they consist of selecting some of the best objects from the previous generation and mutating them with very less probability. Okay, time to explain the game. The rules are pretty simple. The aim is for the white circle to reach the yellow circle, avoiding obstacles in between. Obstacles such as the wall, an object other than white and yellow circle. So I hope the rules are clear, the game is very simple, nothing fancy about it. And it's my first experience, so I can't be bothered that much. As Mahatma Gandhi once said, start gently. And you got my point. Okay, that's enough explaining. Let's jump straight into Unity. Here we have a simple scene in which a white dot is just moving upwards. And by changing the Z rotation values of the game object, we can change the direction in which white dot is moving. So the Z rotation values can act as inputs for our AI object. Okay, so when the game will start, our AI object here will get some random rotation values. Do you know the way? Then I created some walls on the outer edges of the screen. So whenever a runner collides with the wall, it dies. After that, I created a manager game object which handles all sort of things related to spawning and selection. One eternity later. Finally, it worked. So here's a quick tip for you guys. In Unity, it's better to work with game objects rather than custom classes because it is difficult to duplicate custom classes. Let's take for an instant, you want to duplicate array A into array B. So we can basically equate the corresponding elements. Done, no problem at all. But there's a slight more complication to that. When equating, you not have only equated the values but also the reference. And when changing some values in array A, you can see changes also in array B. This is called shallow copy. This is something we do not want. What we want is to take some values from A to B and after selecting some of the best from them, transfer it back to A. And for this to happen, you need a deep copy which I don't think there's an easy way to do in Unity. So easy fix use game objects because they are easy to duplicate using instantiate function. Very good. Now to the selection part. So we need a condition based on which our AI objects are selected. One condition can be the distance of AI from the goal. Less equals better. And one condition can be that if it has reached the goal then how far it did so. Remember that priority of reaching the goal is greater than distance. Only the strong ones will survive the next generation. Because as just Darwin said, if you are weak, then die. The AIs with greater fitness has a greater chance of passing on to the next generation. And yes, the fitness is a measure of how well an AI performed. Ready for the experiment? Put on your safety equipment and let's see what do we have. Here the green circle shows the best from the previous generation. So as to ensure that our AI doesn't mutate negatively, the best from the previous generation is always alive. In generation 9 we have our first winner. And within some generations, the other models will also reach. Epic. 
Okay, let's try it with some obstacles. Also, I have made some changes. Well, not that much. Just change my ghost sprite to a question mark. So, the white dots will go through all the obstacles to the goal and they will get nothing. Just like Mario, who went through all that pain only to know that her princess is in another castle. What an idiot. It's me, Mario! Uh, guys, I think they heard us. Okay, the problem is solved using bus compiler. So, let's start it again. Soldiers, this is where we start. No red block can stop us. We will reach our destiny. Okay, that's actually not that bad. It completed its objective in generation 47. It's actually pretty impressive for an AI that just gets some random rotation values. Yes, I know the game is very simple, but I'm pretty happy with the result. So have you guys played that impossible game? What is it called? Oh, world's most hardest game. Very creative title by the way. If you haven't played, then this is how it looks. Pretty easy, right? So let's see can our AI complete a level from this game. Here is the replica of the first level from the game and let's see whether our AI is able to do it. So in generation 69 they finally reached the mark which is actually respectable. However there is a limitation I came across during this test. It's good for small obstacles. But when there is a big wall in front of goal, it will try to go through the wall because distance is actually less from there. Which actually can happen. Maybe mutation can help us out here but that's a very slim chance. So it would be a miracle. Then I also made a change so that whenever the runner dies by the wall, its fitness would be reduced. That actually helped but didn't fully solve the problem. And so I think using Raycast, is a far better approach than some random float values. But because I just started learning machine learning. Wow, learning machine learning. Okay. Because I just started learning machine learning, I wanted to try some very basic things first. So thanks for watching guys. Here is the trailer of my first and only game. And if you like this video, then press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.